Hey, Air Signs. Welcome to the weekly of April the 7th to April the 14th. Okay? Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to continue to do these. I'm just seeing how they feel. How it feels. Okay, now the very first card in regards to your love situation is the Ace of Cups Reverse. So, I believe that a lot of you are going to really get into the masculine, feminine energy type of whole thing, okay? Because I just kind of feel like you're going to ask yourself, is this relationship going to work? Is there a balance of energies to make it work or not? All right? And so I feel that being a really hard decision because you may, in fact, have feelings for a same energy and it hasn't really been working out, you know. Um, but I see that there is a love that's coming to you or there has been a love that felt like it came from the sky because it was overpouring with nurturing and emotional sustenance that's now kind of on hold, all right? There could have been some quarreling there. Something could have, um, you know, ended, or there's just an argument. But notwithstanding, I still feel that despite the, the disagreement with someone else, you're really satiating yourself with an uh, enormous amount of self-love and self-soothing. I just kind of really feel you being emotionally fulfilled, maybe just not with your person. For some of you, with or without your person, the next seven days from the uh, the fifth to was it the no the seventh to the fourteenth, you're going to be feeling emotionally fulfilled, but you're going to be missing someone who you hold dear. Now, how are they going to be coming in? They're coming in as the death reverse, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But definitely, Scorpio, since the first card was water, okay, you could be dealing with a water sign or just the energy of someone being very stuck on you. Therefore, their feelings go much deeper than, you know, the Ace of Cups, kind of like, oh. But, I mean, and your feelings of disappointment or, you know, loss are pretty significant. That's a pretty loss. That's a pretty significant loss. But theirs go deeper. Because you could be dealing with an emotional sign, a feeling sign, a Scorpio who just feels very deeply. Like when they love you, they love you. When they have a heart full of love for you, they have a heart full of love for you. So when you do something or when something happens that makes them feel like this, betrayed or defeated, they feel it very deeply very deeply um, because for some of you this association is rather new for them maybe to be feeling uh, a hold on you this strong okay so they may be a water-based person with a lot of water in their chart or uh, a lot of Capricorn okay so this person is very much stuck on you they could have a soul contract with you. They feel like they cannot move forward at this time. And they feel like, you know, they really want to just cut you out, but something stops them every time, okay? But they're not really moving forward because they feel humiliated and defeated about something. So because this person feels so deeply, they're going to need, some time that maybe goes farther than maybe what you are comfortable with, with getting over some shit, you know, because you're an air sign. It's like, okay, that was fucked up. Okay, let's move on. But, you know, like they love very deeply. They hurt deeply. They feel deeply. And so it's going to take more than seven days for this level of humiliation and pride and, you know, pain of their pride or whatever to get over this. But for them to come in as the death reverse, you know, they're like saying they're holding death at the door and saying, no, not to this one. I know that it's natural for this to end.
because of this and this and that and that. And, and everybody who's been telling me to let it go is right. And it, it you know, it makes me feel crazy and it is, and it's ridiculous. But this person loves so deep that they literally tell the death angel to stop. You can't have this one yet. So, yeah, this is deep. Um, we gonna finish this at Vimeo because, um, somebody is very powerful and somebody is not, yeah. They're very powerful. So go on to Vimeo and we're going to finish this right now. All right.